While making his 28th film, Elvis turned his attention to co-star Susan Henning. I first met Elvis in, it was probably 67, and I was topless, and the bottom half of me was a mermaid. Everything he did, he enjoyed life, and he was certainly fun to work with, and certainly very, uh, made you feel very comfortable in what you were doing if you were to air. He would laugh, and he was a very real person. I'm attracted to people that aren't fake, and, and he seemed just down home and, and comfortable to be with. And Elvis started dating her, and he dated her for a while. Uh, not too many people know about that. She never told anybody about it. She was very, very quiet about it, and uh, we spent a lot of time together doing the movie and rehearsals and all that. And when I walked into the room, we were to practice and rehearse the dance. He had his back to me, and he had his little macho pose and I think I had a pair of short shorts on and I thought oh well there's Elvis we're gonna have fun so I remember walking up and sticking my leg between his leg and kind of doing a little can can and his favorite slogan was he looked down at my boy my boy <laughs> they clicked for a while and you could see uh, it in their eyes I met him in uh, one time in Arizona we went and I think a lot of his fun since he was so much out was just to be in and we would really just stay in the room, and that sounds all perverted, but I mean, you can have a lot of fun in the room besides doing what people might think. I mean, just talking, and um, he loved to get into deep thoughts, of, of, and he loved to eat. One of my greatest uh, fun times was to comb his hair and do it in different ways that he had never worn it, and he thought that was so funny that I would comb his hair in bangs or um, part it down the center and make a butler or, I don't, we just played with each other. You could do fun things. I think he had a multitude of women, and, and I think I was one of, of 